This is Yeji Kim from Hudson High School. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Yeji Around Town will continue through Zoom. My goal is to inform and enrich the Hudson community on the numerous shops and restaurants in Hudson. I will still be featuring many local businesses, so stay tuned and enjoy the show. Hello, this is Yeji Kim from Yeji Around Town, and today I'm going to introduce you to one of the oldest stores in Hudson called The Grey Bolt, which is a clothing store located on 150 North Main Street. Right now, I am here with the owner of The Grey Colt. Could you introduce yourself? Certainly. My name is Julie Kalis. I bought the store about two and a half years ago. And as I just mentioned, it is one of the oldest stores in Hudson, so I know it has a very rich history mm -hmm. since it was created in 1959, I believe. Yes. What is some of the background of this store? The store was founded in 1959, so about 61 years ago, by two women, uh, Pris Graham and Patty Colton, which is where the Gray Colt name comes from, the G and the C. Um, they uh, were originally uh, opened their store on the next block down on Main Street above what was a grocery store called Zaley. So anyone from Old Hudson knows where that was. Um, eventually it was just Mrs. Colton and her daughter Katie then took over the store. Um, I worked here in the 80s when I was in college and I loved it. Um, thought it was great. Always thought that one day I would have a store like this. Never imagined it would be the sexual store. Yeah, I love how you have a connection that goes deeper than just when you started owning it. So I know on the doors of the Great Colt, there is a painting of flowers. Could you explain what that means? Certainly. Uh, for anyone who's lived in Hudson for a long time, they certainly know Ginny Ellis. Um, she's a longtime resident, um, a fabulous, most amazing artist. And so she painted the original flowers on the door. Uh, they've been touched up a little bit through the years, but they are hers. Um, and again, sort of uh, anyone from Hudson knows Ginny. And what kind of products does the Grey Colt offer? Uh, mostly separates, dresses, sweaters, pants, shoes, sort of uh, combining outfits um, for women, some casual, some a little bit dressier if necessary, but mostly separates. Yeah. And what age sense. range, what age range would you say you mainly target your clothing towards? I would say that we target probably 35 and up. Mm -hmm. um, we have all different kinds of styles. And so um, pretty much I would say 35 to, again, sky's the limit. Depends mm -hmm. on what, what you're in, what, what anyone might be looking for. How do you choose those products? Is there a certain style or standard you try to maintain? I look for clothes that are a little bit unusual. I look for clothes that uh, maybe you can't find at Nordstrom or online. And I look for clothes that, um, because if you're gonna be coming to Hudson, you want to make sure and you wanna, if you're coming to the store that you're gonna find something that you won't see on everybody else. Uh, maybe something that I call them aspirational pieces that might be a little bit different and sort of make people stop and say, wow, that's really cool. Where'd you get that? Um, so that's something that I look for a little bit. And then of course, I'm always looking for good separates and good basics that will complete an outfit, something that can sort of get your outfit started and pull your whole, whole look together. Yeah, um, I remember hearing that sort of artisan, very high craft, um, high craftsmanship clothing is almost like art. So it's almost like wearable art. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's very true when someone puts so much effort into designing, creating a piece that does become like art. We do have some pieces from unusual places around the world. Um, and so we try and look for those pieces. Um, sometimes hard to find, but when we find them, they're really great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was looking at some of the clothes on the website and they are very fashionable. So is there anything you do in particular to keep track of trends? 
Read a little bit. I, I watch uh, Read WWD, Women's Wear Daily, um, and uh, New York Times Style. But those are my two periodicals. Other than that, it's a lot of talking to my reps to find out what's coming up, what's, what's new. Oftentimes, I will ask them, what's your bestseller? What's everyone buying right now? What's the most popular what's the most popular look, look, what's the best trend. So I really depend on the people who are in the biz who I'm working with, especially since I'm relatively new um, to this business. So I really rely on the reps to tell me a lot of what's going on and they're pretty honest, it's great. Mm -hmm. And to speak more about trends, what new items or styles would you recommend for the winter time? For the winter time, for sure. I mean, we're always looking at cashmere in here because I like being warm. Um, but I see this year we have a lot of feathers um, on the skirts, on the sleeves. We've got some pieces with furry cuffs right here, which is kind of cool, or maybe a scarf with a, a fur piece on the end that you tie into it. So um, sort of embellishments are kind of cool. Um, camo is has always been a trend and it continues again this year and a little bit of uh, leopard print as well, I would say. So anything that kind of gives you a little bit of texture, especially this year, if you're only going to maybe buy one piece because of COVID, you've been wearing a lot of leggings, but maybe you want just one piece that's going to spru spruce things up a little bit, you'll go with something with a little bit of an extra uh, pizzazz to it. Mm -hmm. So would you be able to show me some of the products and pieces you have at the Grey Colt? Uh, certainly. Sort of talking a little bit earlier about the pieces that are embellished with different um, sort of different feathers. Um, we've got this great cashmere top. It's a it's a great gift. It goes on. It's a um, it one size fits all with all kinds of big feathers. So again, in the time of COVID, um, where everyone says, "Oh, I'm not going out. I'm not going anywhere." But you are going to probably have Thanksgiving. You're probably going to see your family, and maybe you just want to have one fun thing. So maybe it's going to be um, a little cashmere poncho with some feathers on the top. You never know. Um, going with our camo theme, we have this amazing camo. Um, jacket. It's a parko trimmed in fur. It's kind of like this waterproof. I guess it doesn't show up that well, but it's a really great parka in camo. We have a lot of other camo pieces as well, but this is one of our sort of our mm, fun sort of aspirational pieces that is um, maybe a little bit different than something you've had before. If you want something more basic, we have a great puffer coat from a company in England called Jewels. Great in the back and in the front. And again, it's just a great, easy, basic, but really very useful. And then this is a company called Ann Wren. She makes these beautiful coats. They're lined beautifully, great style. And this speaks a little bit more to the unusual pieces that you know, you're just not gonna find these at um, a department store. You're not gonna find it at um, any of the um, chains. This is something that is spectacular, a little bit different, and very fun. Only at the Grey Colt. Mm -hmm. We have lots and lots of accessories. Um, just yesterday, we received a great shipment from a company in Madrid. Again, trying to find companies that are a little bit different. Um, mm -hmm. All these amazing gloves. These are, we just posted these on, they're going on the website today. Um, they're all these amazing colors. We've got gloves, we've got mittens, some of them are texting. This one is a texting one, all embellished with these really cute little buttons. We have other kinds of necklaces, accessories. This one is really cute. It's from a woman who makes these great necklaces and you think, oh gosh, well that would be pretty. And then when you look closely, you see they have dogs on them. So again, you're just not gonna find it at a big box store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And especially on the Anne Wren one, all the different colors and textiles are really amazing. Fun. Yeah, uh, it's all hand done. She is, uh, she's amazing. Talk more about the Grey Colt itself. Mm -hmm. How is the shopping experience at the Grey Colt different from large mainstream stores? Well, that's easy. Um, I mean, at a large mainstream store, you know, they may help you to the dressing room and, and um, maybe you'll get a little bit of care, but here you get a lot of care. Um, you'll get to see exactly everything that's in the store. Our staff here make sure to show 
Um, if you're interested in something, not just what you're interested in, but other things that might go with it, other things that are similar to it. Um, so you get a lot of care, you get a lot of follow-up, you'll maybe get a call if something comes in, if there's something that you're interested in, um, we'll keep track of that, let you know when new dresses are in so that you're in touch. And, you know, we're, we're really staying in touch with our customers um, in, a, in a different way than, than a big box would, that's for sure. Yeah, I definitely agree that the experience of choosing something should be just as special and um, exciting as the product. 100%. Mm -hmm. And next, I want to talk about Small Business Saturday, which comes after Black Friday to sort of appreciate and support yeah. the small businesses. So can you tell me what the Great Cult is doing for Small Business Saturday or what you think the importance of this day is? It's hard for COVID because we certainly don't want to have a lot of people in the store at any one right. time. Uh, we do mandate masks and we have our, you know, our masks that we wear um, when customers are here um, and we require them to have masks as well. But typically it's a, it's a fun day. It's a fun weekend where the, a lot of people are shopping um, and there's a lot of Christmas shopping going on. So this year, what we've decided to do is with purchases, and we're, we're running it through the entire weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, purchases over $25, which is pretty much Every, any, most everything in the store. Uh, you get to enter a raffle and with the raffle, you get to choose to put your, um, your raffle ticket into one of three buckets. And so we have three different prizes. We have a cashmere scarf, we've got gift certificates, we've got sparkly earrings. Um, it's all outlined on our website, which is great. But um, so it, what really what we're doing is making sure that when you're shopping, you have a great time, you can do some Christmas shopping and maybe look forward to some future shopping as well. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, fun. I also know that the Great Colt does a stocking competition every year for the holidays. So yeah. how did that first start? How does it work? And this year, because of the pandemic, has anything changed in regards to how you're running it? Sure. Um, it started, oh gosh, 18, 19 years ago with uh, the former owner, Katie Colton, started it. It was a great mm -hmm. program. It's always been a great program. Um, we weren't sure whether we were going to continue with it this year. Uh, the basic premise is that you uh, enter a handmade stocking and it can be anything. I People have donated stockings made of plants, of wood, of yarn. They've been knit, they've been felt, anything you can sew. Most are sewn, but it can be anything. And then there's a big party and they, we have a judge every year who comes in and you know hands out most creative or best technique or something like that. And we're just not gonna be able to do that this year. Um, so, um, and when the party's over, the stockings all go into the window, um, the gray coat window, and those are then raffled off. So people in town can come by, look in the window and buy raffle tickets to win one of the, one of the stockings. So we will not be able to have a party this year because of COVID, but we can do everything else. So um, we're still encouraging people to drop off stockings. Um, typically there was a fee to enter. So you would enter your stocking and you would pay a fee. Um, and, and this year, I was really struck at the beginning of the pandemic um, uh, about how many people were left without food and a lot of them for the first time ever. So this year, instead of asking for monetary donations, we're just gonna ask for some food straight up. Um, cans, however, as much or as little as you want, we're gonna have a, um, a box here. Whether you donate a stocking or not, anyone is um, welcome to toss a can in there as well. So that's one of the changes. The other change is that we won't be having the party, but we will um, have the stockings will win prizes. The best will win prizes or the best technique, the best kids, some kids enter, and then we will take the stockings and put them in the window. And um, you can still come and, and um, buy one of them through the raffle, through the stocking raffle. It's a really great program. And I think it's both a great activity for families to do while also supporting the community in tough times like these as well. 100%. How has the Great Cult um, specifically adapted to the COVID-19 pandemic? Sure. Uh, it, you know, it was tough. Uh, we closed for a couple months uh, because of the mandate from the state. And so with that, I moved a lot of the merchandise into my home and uh, really amped up the website a little bit. And we did a lot of selling from home, uh, either shipping or delivering it, it within Hudson. So now that we're open again, we're doing a lot of 
contactless curbside pickup for those people who don't want to come into the store. You can check out the website and we have on the website an option for curbside pickup. So there will be no shipping charges for that. You just pick contactless curbside pickup and we put it by the front door for you and you can just stop in and pick it up without having to come into the store. Um, of course, we're wearing our masks. We have two different stations for, um, you know, uh, for washing your hands. We also have a bathroom here. So anybody who wants to go in and completely wash their hands, they can do that as well. Everything is um, sanitized every day usually a couple times a day. Um, and again, we sort of limit how many people are in the store at any one time. So um, I would say those are the biggest changes that we're doing, but the most notable is curbside pickup. Yeah. And like you just mentioned before, um, on November 11th, Governor DeWine implemented the statewide mask mandate. Besides that, is there anything else you want to add or anything else customers should know before entering the store? I know you just covered a lot in the previous. Yeah, I think that would be it. Um, it you know, this is this this has to happen 100% um, mm -hmm. um, while you're here. We do let people try on clothes. We have dressing rooms, but we keep them open um, until somebody goes in there. And once they go in, we we give it a quick swipe after someone has been in there. Um, but I would say no. I think I covered it all. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Julie, for doing this interview with me. It was really interesting hearing about the history your store has and what you do around the community. Well, thank you so much for calling me and it was my pleasure. Yeah, so stick around for a few more minutes to take a look at the inside of The Grey Colt. This is Yeji Kim from Yeji Around Town with Julie from The Grey Colt. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. This is the front door of The Grey Colt featuring a painting by Ginny Ellis famous bouquet of flowers. If we go inside, we can see some displays showing some promotions that we're going to be doing for Small Business Saturday right after Thanksgiving. We're going to be having some drawings and all kinds of prizes. So if you have a chance, stop on by. We've got our front display with all kinds of holiday um, casual clothes, some dressing, not sure what everyone's doing for the holidays. So you can stop in and see if you can find something fun. Just because we're staying home doesn't mean we need to wear sweatpants every day. Sweater wall is still here. We have a beautiful um, velvet dress by CP Shades. Easy to wear, super comfy. Quilted coats by Jules. Perfect for this time of year, especially where it's not too cold, not too warm. 